has come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier. Cause it's a God Welcome. Um, we're going for the third study. Angel, the rest of the world. But thank God for the Holy Spirit who reveals all truth unto us. Where would we be without the Holy Spirit? The Rhapsody of Realities has been given to us to reach every man, to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. Welcome to Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite daily devotional program. We are excited to share with you the impactful insights from Rhapsody of Realities, a devotional that's touching lives globally. We are reaching you from Dubai. My name is Pastor Lani and with me today is Roman. But first of all, let me thank the Lord for the life of our dear man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakhalome, for sharing us again his marvelous and full of wisdom and revelation for the exhortation of the Word of God. For us in Dubai, Rhapsody of Realities provides a glorious opportunity to live the message of the gospel with those we encounter. Hallelujah. Even after that first meeting, they can take the devotional home, meditate on it their own time, and continue growing in the Word carrying the light of Christ with them wherever they go. That's why we are so excited for Reach Out World. Amen. As we journey towards Reach Out World Day on December 2nd, we've been praying for nations, their people, and the prevailing of God's Word across the world. You can join the Reach Out World Prayer March today at roadprayermarch.mystreamspace.org Hallelujah! It's time for us to learn from today's message title, His Delights in Fulfilling Your Desires. And then we will delve into this message, but let's go first for a short break. Stay tuned and we will be right back. You are watching Rhapsody Dailies. Mantor Shavarundu, and the leaders come to know the truth, and that truth makes them free. An extraordinary movement is unfolding through the Reach Out World Day Prayer March. This monumental journey has already begun and will reach its peak on December 2nd at Reach Out World Day. <laughs> Join billions across the globe in lifting voices in powerful symphony of prayers, saturating our prayer clouds and making profound changes in our world. Our focus is clear, ensuring the gospel flows freely in every nation, spreading hope and salvation, and transforming lives worldwide. Through the Reach Out World Day Prayer March, we are praying for the success of the Reach Out World Day, praying for peace in our nations and every facet of life, praying for children, leaders of nation, economies, and the unstoppable spread of the gospel around the world. This continuous prayer journey runs until December 2nd, marking 120 days of relentless heartfelt prayers. Join us to stir the wave of transformation that will ripple through every corner of the world. Here are the steps to join the Reach Out World Day Prayer March. 1. Visit reachoutworlddayprayermarch.mystreamspace.org 2. Enter your email address and 3. Click on the Pray for 15 Minutes icon at the top of the stream and pray for 15 minutes. You can also switch to conference and invite others to pray with you by sharing your direct conference link. Once you've done that, use the Prayer Outreaches icon to submit the number of participants who prayed with you and upload a screenshot or picture of the prayer session. 4. Commit to praying every day for 15 minutes until the Reach Out World Day. 
You can also invite friends and family to pray with you by sharing the link with them. Share your testimonies and the prophecies you receive in the comments segment. We are mobilizing billions of people to join us in prayer and to be part of our Reach Out World Day workforce. It's a 24 hours of prayer, proclamation and prophecy as we intercede for people, leaders and nations of the world for the impact and resounding success of the Reach Out World Day. God bless you. Welcome back to Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Today is November 7, and we are reaching you from Dubai. Today's message is titled, He Delights in Fulfilling Your Desires. Hallelujah, praise God. So let's now open our Rhapsody of Realities and read with me as we meditate the Word of the Lord today. In John 16 verses 23 to 24 as highlighted verse, Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Ask, and he shall receive, that your joy may be full. Observe what the Lord Jesus said in our opening scripture. He clarifies that we can ask the Father anything in his name, and it will be granted. When you walk in love, your desires naturally align with his. Therefore, you won't ask for anything outside His will. He does encourage us to ask and receive so that our joy may be full. What a blessed invitation! It shows the Father's desire to bless us. Unlike earthly parents or others who may become weary of too many requests, God never grows weary of our many requests. He delights in answering us and fulfilling our desires. Glory! And as we mentioned as yesterday's devotional titled, Our Power of Attorney to Use His Name, there are people who used to ask if Jesus will also do the things that are sometimes bad or evil. But of course not. On the first hand, in Christ Jesus, we were born by His words. We began a new nature in us. We are now a new creation. And the man that is born again walk in His light and walk in His love. Definitely, our desires now is the desires of the Spirit who gave us life. Our desires now are the desires which are naturally aligned in the will of God. You don't have now the desire for evil. In Romans 8, 5 says, Those who live according to the flesh have their mindset on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance in the Spirit have their minds set on the Spirit's desire. Therefore, those who are led with the Spirit, they ask things that are pleasing to God. And it is supported in Romans 8.32, Since He did not spare even His own Son but gave Him up for us all, won't He also give us everything else? And that's our Lord. The Lord encouraged us to ask so that we could receive. Do not forget to receive what you ask for because the Father is very much willing to give everything that pleases Him. That's beautiful. Let us keep on reading our rhapsody. Praise the Lord. Therefore, when you ask, believe that you receive. Jesus did not say to ask and wait indefinitely. He said to ask and receive. This means that from the moment you ask, start rejoicing and acting as though you already received because in the spirit it's done actually i always pray to the lord pastor lani especially when i was on my previous company i always ask i always ask the lord for spiritual and financial breakthrough i always declare that one day i know god will do miracles in my Hallelujah. life i just keep on asking praying and crying to the lord declaring that my work will become easier and not full of hardship anymore. Then the time finally comes. When I ask, I receive it. Now, it's the time of thanksgiving. God is good. He hears us all. I just believe unto the word of God that He will not leave us nor forsake us. Surely, He will turn things around for our good. He will bless us and His favor will be unto us always. We are getting more deeper in the exhortation of the word of God. But for a meanwhile, let's just have a short break. Stay with us and we'll be right back. 
You are watching Rhapsody Dailies. Introducing our new app features, the Rhapsody Alarm. Never miss an article with the Rhapsody Alarm feature. Now you can set a timer and wake up to Rhapsody Audio been read out to you. The Rhapsody Study Plans. Enjoy this great new collection of carefully packaged plans on various life topics ranging from health to healing. How to overcome fear or guilt. Walking in love. How to get winning ideas. How do I increase wealth, and so much more. Now you can join the competition on the Rhapsody Top Users Leaderboard, watch your performance, be inspired by others and do more with the app to get more points and be the next top app user in your city, nation or zone. Rhapsody of Realities app, your guide for life, get on board, available for download on www.lwappstore.com. Welcome back to Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Today's message is titled, He Delights in Fulfilling Your Desires. Let's continue to read on Rhapsody of Reality. We often deal with disappointments from people who don't keep their promises. But God is not like that. He is faithful and He keeps His word. Humans may fail, forget, or disappoint, but God never fails. In 1 Peter 3, 12 says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and His ears are open unto their prayers. Hallelujah! I could remember back when I was a newly believer, I used to doubt whether the Lord will do, or will do whatever I ask or not, whether He will answer me, my prayers or not. Sometimes I used to ask for a sign, something like, If it rains, I will not continue and the likes. But upon maturing in the Word of God, my faith strength, the faith strengthens my heart and start to believe that God's promises are now yes and amen. Things might happen not in the way that we wanted, but surely God is taking care and will definitely do or give what He has promised. God's ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts than our thoughts. Therefore, there's no room for disappointment, discouragement, Boris in doubt, only hope and patience. In Christ, there is always hope. There is perseverance. Things are surely going to happen. Things are happening and things happen according to His will and promises. Let's just joyfully in waiting until you receive it, until it is done for you. Praise and glory to God. Hallelujah. Rhapsody of Reality says, in Hebrews 13, 5, the Bible says, For He, God Himself, has said, I will not in any way fail you, mm -hmm. nor give you up, nor leave you without support. Yeah. I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down. Relax my hold unto you. Assuredly not. Ponder those words for a moment and be overwhelmed by the Father's love and desire for you to live in fullness of joy, peace, confidence, dominion, and victory every day. He delights in you and in fulfilling your desires. Now, I know the Lord is truly working in our lives. Every time He wakes up, every time we experience Him in spirit and in truth, He is truly here for us. In whatever we do, the Holy Spirit is with us. We should give thanks to Him always. We should be grateful forever. He gave us life with a purpose and to live it to the fullest. With the fruit of the Holy Spirit in us, He delights in our lives. He delights in whatever we desire. Glory to God. Wow, it was a powerful exhortation of Prophecy of Realities with you all. Meanwhile, I would like to invite everyone to confess with me this prayer you can follow after me. Dear Father, Dear Father, I thank you for our privilege and authority in prayer. I thank you for our privilege and authority in prayer. And my joy is made full. And my joy is made full. I refuse to doubt or waver. I refuse to doubt or waver. Because word is ever dependable. 
Because your word is ever dependable. Ever sure and ever trustworthy. Ever sure and ever trustworthy. Thank you for always hearing me. Thank you for always hearing me. And granting my petitions. And granting my petitions. For indeed your word is yes and amen. For indeed your word is yes and amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray that we had a great time studying today's article of Rhapsody of Realities. We also believe that the Lord has made all things possible with you as well and given your desire. Share us your stories and testimonies through email and rest assured that someone will be blessed and will be encouraged by your thoughts and by your life. Amen. And for today's further study scriptures, Matthew 7, 7-11. Mark 11, verses 24, 1 John 5, 14 to 15. Amen. We would like to take a call also in reading the whole Bible all throughout the year. Today's scripture for the one-year Bible reading plan are Hebrews 7 and Jeremiah 50 to 51. And the two-year Bible reading plan are 1 Peter 4, 1 to 19 and Ezekiel 38. Today's article is full of life and full of glory. Amen. Enjoy your privilege in asking because the Lord is delighted to give you your desires. Stay tuned. We will be right back to conclude today's devotional with you. We are on the road to Reach Out World Day and the excitement is building up. We will distribute rhapsody of realities everywhere in the world. In the aircrafts, in the trains, in the buses, every nation, every city, every town. And we're giving it to them in their language. The language the best understand. Millions everywhere are preparing and ready to cover the world with the knowledge of God's Word as the waters cover the seas on December 2nd. But guess what? That's just the beginning. Our mission will continue throughout the entire month of December with the impact reverberating into every corner of the globe as we now have an entire month to saturate the nations with the gospel of Christ. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, Matthew 20 for 14. This is our focus. Have you been sponsoring, engaging, enlisting, and distributing Rhapsody of Realities for this global gospel crusade? This is your moment to give and give big for the spread of the gospel. So, join us to see daily and sponsor Rhapsody of Realities in all 8,123 languages and for 1,000 dialects it's available in. Join Pastor Chris today to reach over 10 billion people across the globe with God's Word. You're with me on this? Tell me, are you with me on this? We're going to make it happen. And the Reach Out World Day Prayer March is still ongoing. Join us in these nonstop heartfelt prayers for the nations and peoples of the earth. Visit rowdprayermarch.mystreamspace.org to be part of this. Take action now the journey has begun and it will culminate in an eternal impact as we prepare for the glorious rapture of the church. To sign up and enlist others to be a part of Reach Out World Day, please visit www.reachoutworld.org. You can also call us now. God bless you. Welcome back to Rhapsody Dailies. This year, Make up your mind to read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. A diligent study of Rhapsody of Realities will definitely cause a tremendous change in your life. With Rhapsody of Realities up, you can access the Word of God on the go. Here's how to get it in three easy steps. 1. Download the Rhapsody of Realities app from loveworldappstore.com 2. Sign up with your active email and phone number to get exciting offers and special discounts. 3. Subscribe to enjoy the full benefits. Thank you everyone for joining us today in another powerful and grace-filled devotional of Rhapsody of Realities. It's been an awesome time sharing the devotional with you. Join us again tomorrow for another inspiring time of Rhapsody Dailies. And until then... 
keep, keep reading, reading your, your rhapsody. rhapsody.